Imagine for a moment an elderly person, perhaps a family member. All of a sudden, he suffers a heart attack and he needs an ambulance very quickly because every minute counts. Luckily, he has this emergency beacon app. Think of it as your personal OnStar. Let's show you how it works. With just two button taps, he's able to summon an ambulance instantly. He just sent an emergency beacon to a nearby ambulance with his exact location. He didn't have to manually check in at all because our app kept his current location up to date persistently in the background. The app also provides important updates, such as the ETA of the paramedics, as well as the location of the ambulance, which you see in the upper right corner. Now let's go to the view inside of the ambulance, where our platform provides a dashboard for the paramedics. This dashboard includes a map with the patient's exact address. The exact address is extremely important because 40% of mobile 911 calls lack location accuracy. That's over 175,000 calls a day where the paramedics do not have an exact fix on your location. Now let's go back to the app to see how the uh, patient is doing. The ambulance is just one minute away. It'll be, the ambulance has just arrived, great. Another persistent feature of our app is a places diary that remembers your places automatically. This is really helpful for patients of Alzheimer's and their families. Imagine it's Thanksgiving weekend and your grandfather, who has Alzheimer's, has just wandered off. Luckily, you have access to this family dashboard, which shows your grandfather's current location. Plus, it provides a history of his recent place visits, just in case he lost something on Black Friday, and you have to retrace his steps. And your grandfather did not have to manually check into any of these places. We call this technology persistent sensing. Let me give you one more example. Imagine a teenager who just got his driver's license. Now also imagine that the teenager is involved in a very serious car crash. If the teenager is unconscious, our app can still summon an ambulance automatically without any button presses at all. Sam's going to uh, simulate a high-speed auto crash uh, onto the stage. He's got a phone inside a Nerf ball. That wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> but let me direct your attention to the screen. This is the dashboard inside the ambulance. <laughs> it worked. That was a live transmission from the phone. Even though the phone was destroyed, it sent a message to the ambulance <laughs> with the exact address of the injured teenager. You might be asking now, how does all this technology work? Well, we've developed a bunch of algorithms that monitor various sensors on your smartphone, and we analyze those sensor signals to determine various events, such as place visits, as well as a car crash. We just demonstrated three emergency scenarios using our mobile, using our mobile behavior analytics platform. However, our technology is not just for emergencies. 
it's available for all kinds of apps. Everything from smart personal assistants to mobile apps for health, shopping, games, and even dating. So if you want to build a persistent sensing app, we've got an API and an SDK available for you. If you go to alohar.com, we'll also have a showcase app called PlaceMe, which is the one on the far right. Thank you, and uh, we're happy to answer any questions. Awesome. Okay. So, uh, panel, what did you think? Well, when you were doing the ambulance, when I couldn't help but think of Uber, it was like Uber ambulance. <laughs> uh, in rehearsals, we said Uber for ambulance. Yeah, that's yeah. exact. Um, so, I, I think. I think you have a set of apps that are really cool and uh, very useful, and you can build a business on that. I'm not. Um, I think the, uh, the 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 most successful idea, the, the the most potential I see is is I could see parents getting the the whole kind of OnStar emergency thing for their families in droves, and so I I would urge you to focus on the one thing you think could be a massive hit for you and, and save these for later. I think the building for other apps and games and things like that I would just drop that. <laughs> um, but the, the emergency thing, I mean you could you could I could see millions of people um, you know downloading that app and getting their kids to use it and having it be persistent. I, I call it ambient uh, kind of I am ambient plant, plant platforms, but you're calling it persistent. Sort of call it, uh, ambient search, or yeah. you know, persistent sensing and ambient yeah. search. When, whenever we see something that you may need, we may send you, you know, recommendations yeah. or uh, you know, reminders. You know, when there's I mean, teens, and teens as, and kids as young as 12, 11 have mobile phones now, and right. parents would want to you know right. track track right. where they are as well. So. Um, I think you've got something there, and I would just I urge you to focus on that. Cause and that's very that acute, right? That problem for a parent. It's, it's a very acute problem. And there's already guys in the space, and there's one company that's got over a million uh, members that are paying them you know, real money every single month. And so that's a proven market to Sherman's you know, point um, around that. But I did, one question I had about just in the demo is that um, you were kind of going back and forth, and part of the demo was I would, uh, the, the visualization was very, un I, I totally love it, I love what you guys are doing, but there was this element of it that was very unelegant in terms of design, what, what, and then you were going back and forth to some other stuff, were parts of that you had designed, parts you hadn't, I wasn't quite clear oh, about I, that. I was uh, going back and forth between the, uh, uh, the cell phone's image, yeah. which is uh, connected to the uh, laptop, okay. and a dashboard, a web dashboard. Okay. So the okay. web dashboard, you know, Got it. Okay. web page. So this is, this is a live demo, by the way. It's not yeah. Can, yeah. To be clear, just to be clear, you guys are providing an API and, a, and an engine. You're not currently providing end user products. You want to be a platform. Right. We want to build this platform. We offer it as a SDK so that Android app developers, iPhone app developers can use it to build their own apps. And what, what makes you guys uniquely qualified to do this? Have you done something in the in previously with Maps? Yes, yeah, Sam was the uh, platform architect of Google's location server platform. That's the platform that puts the uh, blue dot in tens of thousands of mobile apps, including iPhone's default map. So what you heard from some of the panel was they, they might think it's cool that you built the platform, but maybe specific apps are what the world needs, maybe not the platform. But more questions from the panel? Does the app have to be running to do that? Once in, you install in memory? It, once you install it, it runs in the background passively. So if you reboot the phone, will the app will the yeah, app? Yeah, auto restart. It'll auto restart. Yeah, you can just forget about it. And only when you need to you know, look for something, you can open it. And, you can. and obviously, you're using accelerometer type data. And your web. I mean, what, what sensors are you looking at? Uh, we look at a location sensor, a motion sensor, compass. Uh, Wi-Fi. Um, uh, we also plan to use you know, even the brightness and proximity. And everything on the phone that's available, we want to monitor them passively. And we have a set of algorithms that analyze all these sensors and try to, you know, infer: you know, Are you walking? 
Are you jogging? Are you driving? You know, the motion and pattern. Anything that goes beyond what's available through the stack from from Android or from totally. iOS. Yeah, I you know again, I, I worked with Google for four years, and I, I know this is not available. And how? It's actually a hard business given, um, you know, I have a competing investment in that space and the hard part is you don't know that you really need something like that until you do. Um, so like when you've lost your iPhone, it becomes the most valuable app yes. on your phone. When you need an ambulance, it's the most valuable app on your phone. It's not viral. Like you don't tell your friends about it. It's a hard thing to sell. Yeah. So I actually think that the um, doing the API approach is probably more beneficial. Well, for the ambulance app. Uh, I would let someone focus on that. Mm -hmm. For the ambulance app, we're actually partnered with uh, an app that's already out there in the emergency information space. They're the number one most downloaded app in that particular category, and um, they've chosen our system to power their location service. That's great. Well, great. I guess, sorry, one last question. Yeah. Just, it seems like, uh, I, think, I think this is huge for gaming, because th this is like solving a big problem for sort of real life location gaming. Right. But, and you guys listed that. Uh, the other one I didn't see list there, which I, I think there are people doing this stuff, but it, it's hard to do, is traffic, right? I mean, you should be able to sort of do traffic patterns um, at, at a very high scale very quickly if you could get people, so you could get people to sort of download the game, and then you've got a lot of traffic data. Yeah, right, totally. Actually, um, would be Actually, during the, the demo page, actually, there already uh, five or six startups coming to us. And one guy, I think they do a uh, you know, real, real world monopoly game. When you walk into Best Buy, maybe you want to buy that property. Now, our system can detect that uh, entrance in real time. Right. Just you, once you, you guys might, you might, might decide that you get a lot of the, like, disguised questions. Maybe you just let people use it for free for their apps, and then the data you have is incredible traffic and mapping data that you could then build a business on.